Good afternoon, folks. Sam from the Giant Tortoise Farm here today with an update. Aries, I apologize for the noise in the background. The neighbor's having a jamboree out there. He's got Ferris wheels and clowns running around. In any case, I've had a lot of inquiries. Um, on the whole batch, I've sold a few. I think I have five. Yeah, basically, I've got five left. I've got two on reserve, reserve for a customer. So those are not released yet. But I have three others that I'm going to be selling, and I want to take you through what those animals look like right now. So first off here, Mario, uh, oh, <laughs> I guess what? I put it on the phone. I put the list on the phone. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna shut down here for a Okay, folks, here we're hooked up again. I need to get a copy of the list. Uh, the first animal here is number 203, which is 13 and 5 eighths, long, narrow, and peaked. That's this Really a nice looking animal. Wait. I've talked about this shell shape. This is 203 over here, Sam, sorry. So this is the 203, the long, the I long got the shell. wrong one. Yeah, they're very similar. So this is 203, at 503 and 203 is very yep. similar. So, <laughs> I'm holding the phone like I think I'm recording. Oh my. I'll get him, don't worry. He knows what's up. He knows us coming out taking videos isn't good. Hey, I, we got it here. Let's put him up here. Get a real nice shot of him. See what I like about him? Look how long, long and high dome he is. Boy, the more I look at this animal, I don't want to sell it. I just love this. I mean, maybe you folks don't like it, but for the people that like it. He has a bus shape. Yeah, and he's really peaked up there. He's got some ice ice cubes. What dull. I like about this animal is when this guy gets big, he's going to be unbelievable. You have to think about what is that animal going to look like when he gets big. And this guy is going to look so unusual. He's going to look like a mountain coming at you. Picture him weighing 500 pounds. Hey, let's get the latest. Let's get the latest. Let's get the latest uh, stats. You know Mario? Oh, yeah. So we flip him over. and a half, okay. So, okay, this guy here, we have, we just did it, I just did it again. He's 13 and a half now, 13 and, yeah, exactly one half. That's uh, ID number 203, and we're going to call that a bus, a very peaked, peaked dome bus. And, uh, okay, next animal we're looking at, let me get the list. Let's go take a look at this. Oh, he sees us coming and he runs. Oh, geez, that's not fair. Oh, they're getting a little freaked out because we keep coming in here. They know it's not good. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Hey, it's okay. It's all right. I know you got to go. You got to go sometime, buddy. I only have so much room and I got to sell you make some money j70 check him out he's nice and round don't you think mario nice round tortoise he's yes. very 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 round now he does have a little bit of this pyramiding this is totally cosmetic this bumps that are on here and he's really growing out of that if you notice from when he was younger mario don't you think the the pyramiding was much more much more um visible for sure yeah the bigger he gets yeah. it stays the same but he gets bigger matter of fact you can see the difference from here to here look at that see if you check that angle from there to there post this angle from here to here you would see that he's really starting to round out nice oh j70 let's get a look underneath the hood okay come on come on you're breaking my heart here we go 16 and a half 16 and a half on J70. Hey, you know what? I think this is one that has green eyes. For sure. Yeah, J70 does have green eyes. Oh, because it's a J. Yes. All those animals we got from that shipment, where, where, we're, where we were just crazy with the green eyes. Let me here. Let me give you, bring them up over here. He does have green eyes, yeah. Yeah, we hold them. Okay. Ow. Nice weight to him. Boy, I say. You get it good? Yep. 
And right there, the green eyes. J70. There we go, J70. Let me just put it down for a moment. Woo! Last but not least, P23. And she's described as a very peaked, perfect looking female. Yeah. So P23 is right here. I, this is the one we were looking at before, isn't it? Oh no, that one was smaller. But this is the same shell shape. You see that high peak, especially Mary, maybe if you come around the back here, look at the back of that, that animal. And you see how it comes to a peak? But look how high the sides are. You have to imagine that tortoise when it's big. It's gonna be huge. You know, it's gonna it's gonna tower. That's the thing I'm saying. You know, I like that that big dome tower that they're gonna get. You know, it's a matter I've collected all different kinds. That's what it's all about here, is looking at different types and kinds and figuring out what you want. And you know, you start off with something and then after you have a couple of those, you want a couple of something else, you know, like collecting the green eyes has really been spectacular. I mean, who knew that uh, I would find green eyes in tortoises and uh, you know, we've gone through this data. We have just about 800, 1,000 animals in that database that have been sold. And when you look at the percentages that we actually had in green eyes, which really all came in on one or two shipments, right, Mario? What was the green eyes number? The J group and I think the K group, J and K. J and K, J sure. and K, real, real high dominant uh, in, in the green eyes. So, you know, we're seeing different characteristics from different farms. That's what's really neat. You know, some different farms, you have to realize that all of those, those farms, the genetics of that farm has allowed that interbreeding, if you will, of those adults. Now, don't forget, on the islands, they have hundreds. In the bigger farms, they have hundreds of adults that are breeding these animals. So that's a great genetic pool. Now he's going to make noise. He just figures out a way to do it all the time. Anyway, it's a great genetic pool, but, you know, I'm seeing different characteristics coming from different farms throughout that, that island chain, throughout the, uh, uh, the Seychelles and Mariches. And it's also neat that, you know, if you look at some of the, um, the tortoises that are actually uh, captive bred, you notice that all of those tortoises look very much like all of the other tortoises. And that's because, again, of that genetic pool. They don't have different uh, genetics. They don't have, they're not going to end up with different characteristics. That's why when you look at imported tortoises, my God, why do you have so many different variations? Because that genetic pool is, 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 is so much bigger and it gives you that, the genetics. So, you know, that's some of the things I like to do. And when I, when I, when I go through a thousand animals and I find, I think, five of them that were peaked, really peaked like that, I mean, that's something interesting to collect. How many have we ever really seen that good, Mary? Is it five? Is it six? Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, even, you know, not, not many. And green eyes, we did find quite, quite a bit of green eyes. But again, I, I don't know, 30? Maybe 30, 40 green eyes? Exactly. It was, it was just those two shipments. No, it would probably be more, 50 green eyes at least. 50, well, probably, because not, not all were green. Ah, then we had those ones from the Seychelles with the bumps, remember those? They came in very all, bumpy. All, every one of them, every one of them. So different farms, you'll see either exceptionally smooth, but you definitely see more diversification than when you look at, at a population that, that's captive uh, bred. You have more diversification in shell shape and different characteristics, characteristics, the length of their neck, their eyes, the color of their eyes. Some are flat and big and round and everything. So it's really neat to see a lot of the different genetics. And you have to realize these animals, I think I pulled out 32, was it Mario? Out of that thousand that had come in. Yes. So I pulled 32 animals out and those are the ones that I like to keep because, oh, they had whatever kind of shape that they had, which was interesting to me. But over time, you know, I just don't have the space and uh, I, I've got to sell a couple off. Also, I really intended to keep them to next year when I would be 100% as to what their sex was. Plus, that increases the value. Uh, the thing is, though, uh, you know, a little bit of a tough year. And, you know, I have, to, I have to sell them sooner than I wanted to. But, you know, I mean, all of those other considerations are, are really there. So I think it's a great opportunity if you're looking to, to add something, uh, maybe to a, a tortoise that you already have that's an older tortoise or whatever, just any of you guys that are collectors for the pure, um, <clears throat> for the joy of collecting the different diversifications of the tortoises, you know, I think it's a great consideration. So 
So I think that's it, folks. That's a wrap. Take care, everybody. Please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Keeps me alive. Take care, folks.